Okay, so in this video, we want to look at sketching hyperbolas. So hyperbolas are functions of the form a over bx plus c plus d. And if we look at the standard uh, hyperbola, which is just 1 over x, then that's given by the function which looks like this. So it has a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0, so it's not allowed to touch y equals 0 and it has a horizontal asymptote, uh, vertical asymptote, sorry, at x equals zero. Okay, so let's have a look at some concrete examples. So let's sketch f of x is equal to two over x plus one minus three. Okay, so the first thing to note is that the vertical asymptote occurs when the denominator is zero. It's obviously not allowed to touch x equals minus one. So that's where our vertical asymptote will be. The horizontal asymptote is given by this factor here. So this is the vertical translation. So what we'll have is the horizontal asymptote will be at y is equal to minus three. And the final thing to do is just to compute any x or y intercepts. So let's put uh, x equal to zero and we'll get the y-intercept. So that's going to be uh, 2 minus 3. So y will be minus 1. And for the x-intercept, what we'll do is set this function equal to 0. So we'll get 2 over x plus 1 is equal to 3. <coughs> And what we find there is that 2 is equal to 3x plus 3. So 3x is equal to minus 1. So x is equal to minus 1 over 3. Okay, so the x-intercept is minus 1 over 3. Okay, let's put all this into a graph. So we have the vertical asymptote is at x equals minus 1. The horizontal asymptote is at minus 3. We have the y-intercept at minus 1, the x-intercept at minus 1 third, and that's all we need to sketch the graph. And that's it. <clears throat> okay, let's look at another example. So here I've got f of x is equal to 1 minus 2 over 1 minus x. So same thing, we'll find the vertical asymptote. That's given by x equals 1. The horizontal asymptote is given by the d factor. So here we'll have y equals 1. <clears throat> we'll find the y-intercept by setting x equal to 0, in which case we'll get 1 minus 2, so we'll have a minus 1, and the x-intercept is given by setting this function equal to 0, so we'll have 1 is equal to 2 over 1 minus x, so 1 minus x is equal to 2, minus x is equal to 1, so x is equal to minus 1. Okay, so putting this into our graph, we have our horizontal asymptote at x equals 1. <coughs> we have our horizontal asymptote at y equals 1. Our y-intercept occurs at y is equal to minus 1. And our x-intercept also occurs at minus 1. So what we'll have is something like this. Okay, one last example. <coughs> so here we have sketch f of x is equal to 2x minus 5 over 3x plus 1. 
Now this is a hyperbola in a slightly different form. Uh, what you can do is polynomial long division to get this into the usual form. Or you could use a trick which, well, firstly, the first thing is not a trick. The vertical asymptote is still given by setting the denominator equal to zero. So we'll find that x is minus one third. But for the horizontal asymptote, what we can do is just take the ratio of the coefficients for the x. So we'll get y is equal to 2 thirds. The y-intercept is still given by setting x equal to 0, in which case we'll get minus 5. And the x-intercept is just given by setting the function equal to 0. So if this function is equal to 0, we can multiply both sides by 3x plus 1, so we end up with 2x minus 5 equals 0, so 2x equals 5, and x is 5 over 2. Okay, so if we put that into a graph, we have horizontal asymptote at minus 1 third. Got a, sorry, that was a vertical asymptote, a horizontal asymptote at y equals two-thirds we have minus five for our y-intercept and five halves for our x-intercept so our hyperbola should look something like this and that's it for this video if you like the video uh, please hit the like button and leave any questions down in the comments section below and if you're new here please consider subscribing thanks guys i'll see you in the next video